ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on KCHEC. Hello everyone, I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is KCHEC with another season of teaching and learning. Patuloy pa rin po ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Kayanin kaya nila ang ating brain workout for this season. Samahan niyo kami until the final week of competition para malaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling bagong K-Check Champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. First off, we have Selena who is a student at UP Diliman. She's a graduating student of BA Philippine Studies. She enjoys writing poems and reading novels. The rest of our contestants are all from Eulogio Among Rodriguez Institute of Science and Technology, or ERIS, taking up special needs education. Ange loves watching Netflix, eating, and sleeping. Good combination. Sue is in her third year. Her hobbies are singing, dancing, cooking, and watching movies. She's also a Taylor Swift and Blackpink fan. Christine is also a junior. She chose this special needs education program to improve the lives of people with disabilities. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's KCheck panel of experts. First, we have Isang Suki Dito, Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at UP Diliman. Isa pa nating suke, Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And of course, we have multimedia artist and Professor Emeritus who teaches film at the UP College of Mass Communication Film Institute and communication at the UP Open University. We have no other than Professor Grace Javier Alfonso. At ngayon, contestants, hawak ko na ang mga tanong na kailangan niyong sagutin. Get ready to buzz in, but make sure to wait for us to call your name before answering. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Let's begin. This is round one. Let's begin. Question number one. What popular beverage can be obtained from beans of the varieties Excelsa, Liberica, Robusta, or Arabica? Sue. Wine po. The answer is wrong. Selena. Beer. The answer is wrong. The beverage obtained from beans of the varieties Excelsa, Liberica, Robusta, or Arabica is coffee. Question number two. In what continent can you find the countries Slovakia and Slovenia? Selena? Europe. Europe is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. Which town, supposedly named after a bamboo basket in, uh, in the mountain province, is known for hanging coffins as well as its caves and waterfalls? Sue. Make a lion. Make a lion is incorrect. The correct answer is Sagada. Question number four. What is the name of the vampire created by Irish writer Bram Stoker, who is now one of the most portrayed characters in the movies? Christine. Dracula. Dracula is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. What school do the Tamaraos play for in the UAAP or UAP? Sue. Far Eastern University. Po. Far Eastern University or FEU is the correct answer. K check. Question number six. Which town in Bulacan, famous for pagodas in its river festival, is known as the fireworks capital of the Philippines? Ange. There's a garay. The answer is wrong. Sue. May kawayan po. May kawayan. Paboritong may kawayan. I'm sorry, but the answer is also wrong. Bukawe is the fireworks capital of the Philippines. Question number seven. 
ang paborito ng mga contestants natin. In mental math, what is 30% of 60? Sue. 15. The answer is incorrect. Christine. 18. 18 is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number 8. What do you call the scientific study of plants? Christine. Biology. Biology is incorrect. Selena. Botany. Botany is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number nine. What Asian or African mammal is the most massive land animal on Earth? Christine. Elephant. Elephant is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number ten. At what temperature in degrees Celsius does water turn into ice? Ang get. 100. 100 is incorrect. Water turns into ice at zero degrees Celsius. Question number 11. What country in Europe is the birthplace of the ancient Olympics and the host of the first modern Olympics? Sue. Spain po. Spain is incorrect. Selena. Italy. Italy is also incorrect. Greece is the correct answer. Question number 12. What pair of soft, elastic organs in the respiratory system is the site of gas exchange in the human body? Sue. Lungs po. Lungs is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for our first round. And after that round, we have Christine in the lead with 30 points. Sue and Selena tied at 20 points each and Ange with a little catching up to do. But let's take a breather from the competition first and get to know our contestants. Selena is a budding poet. What inspires you, Selena? At baka naman pwede mo kami bigyan ng konting sample ng inyong poem. Noon pa man po kasi na, uh, na, nagsusulat na, 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 na kikinig ng mga, uh, mga spoken word. Uh, yun. Uh, yun ang uh, naging inspirasyon ko para sumubok rin na sumulat. Baka meron namang sample ng konti. Dati naaalala ko pa noon, sabay na nagtatakbuhan, patungo sa palaruan, nagtatawanan, minsan ay nadada pa papunta sa damuhan. Ah, uh, yun na lang po muna. <laughs> Parang prepared si Selena na mag-recite today. Maraming salamat, Selena. Yeah. Ang Ge, on the other hand, is a fan of Netflix. Ano naman mga genre ang paborito mong panoorin on Netflix? Um, random po yung mga, ano ko, yung mga genre na pinapanood ko. But mostly po, uh, mga K-drama, documentaries, yun po. Ako din, mahilig sa documentaries. Yes. So thank you very much, contestants. We'll talk later, Sue and Christine. But for now, maganda na po tayong lahat for round two. Susunod na sa pagbalik ng k -Chat. Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. After round one, we have Christine with 30 points, Sue and Selena tied at 20 points, and Angge with some catching up to do. So si Sue is a fan of both Blank Pink and Taylor Swift. So Sue, sino ba sa Blank Pink ang paborito mo at ano ang masasabi mo tungkol sa love life ni Taylor Swift? Um, yung favorite um, member po ng Blank Pink, which is yung bias ko po, is si Lisa po. And magaling po kasi siya sumayaw, so idol ko po yung mga moods na ganun, mga ganun po. And, um, Baka magpapasample tayo. Ay, <laughs> magat. <laughs> and um, ang masasabi ko lang po dun sa love life po ni Taylor Swift is, sana po nasa ano po, na nahanap, niyo na po nahanap niyo na po talaga yung taong in the end, yun pa din po. Yun din ang wish ko para kay Taylor at sa lahat ng mga umiibig sa ngayon. 
si Christine naman, actually, kung nakalata ninyo, walang nabanggit na hobby sa kanyang bio kanina. Kaya tanungin na rin natin siya ngayon kung ano nga ba ang extracurriculars na pinagkakaabalahan niya. Um, hindi ko po siya nilagay kasi po tawag dito. Naubusan po ako ng idea that time. Tapos ngayon po ang ginagawa ko lang recently is nanonood po ng movies and reading po ng mga novels. Anyway, maraming salamat contestants. It's always nice to hear from you and to get to know more about you. But now, it's time to get back to the competition. This is round two where each correct answer is worth 20 points. You lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. This is round two. Question number one in biology. What do you call an animal that eats both plants and animals? So, herbivores po. Herbivore is incorrect. Christine. Omnivore. Omnivore is the correct answer. Key check. Question number two. Named after the first creature to inhabit the universe in Tagalog folklore, what is the name of the northeast monsoon, which is a cool and dry northeast wind coming from Siberia and China. I mean, Habag Christine. Habaget. The answer is wrong. Selena. Amihan. Amihan is the correct answer. K-check. Question number three. What is the nickname of the NBA team in LA where Paul George, Cowie Leonard, Russell Westbrook, and James Harden played together? Parang hindi ko rin alam ang sagot dito. Ang tamang sagot ay Clippers. Question number four. Which Filipina won the Best Supporting Performance Award at the Los Angeles Film Critics Association Awards 2022 for her breakout role in the movie Triangle of Sadness? Two. Miss Dolly De Leon. Dolly De Leon is the correct answer. Kate check. Question number five. Formed in 1989, which boy band recorded the hit songs Ligaya, Alapaap, and Toyang? Eraser Heads. With conviction. Oh, Eraser Heads. Eraser Heads is the correct answer. Kate check. Question number six. What do you call the Hindi language sector of the Indian movie making industry that began in Mumbai in the 1930s and developed into a large film empire? The correct answer is Bollywood. Question number seven. Which Filipina won the title of Miss Universe over Miss Colombia in 2015. Sue, with conviction. Pia words back. Pia words back is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number eight. One of the top grossing movies of 2021 is the film about a Marvel superhero named after a venomous arachnid. Sue. Venom. The answer is incorrect. I will continue the question. What is the title of this blockbuster movie starring Scarlett Johansson in the title role? The correct answer is Black Widow. Question number nine. The largest of the great apes lives only in tropical forests of equatorial Africa. What is this thick-chested ape that can weigh about 80 kilograms and stand 1.5 meters tall. Two. Mammoth. The answer is incorrect. Selena. Orangutan. The answer is incorrect. Christine. Gorilla. Gorilla is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. Cable cars have been named historic landmarks in what city by the bay in California, USA. The correct answer is San Francisco. 
California. Question number 11. Abbreviated as RIT, what musical direction is an instruction to gradually play slower? The correct answer is retardando. Last question for this round, question number 12. In what winter sport are there race events like the slalom and downhill, as well as jumping disciplines? The correct answer is skiing. And that ends our second round. At the end of this round, we have Christine with 60 points. Sue and Selena both tied for second place at 30 points each, and Ange with 20 points. There's still another chance to catch up. There's no winner until the fat lady sings. Hindi po ako yun. Up next, ang pinakiintay na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito lang sa K-Chat. Welcome back, everyone. After the second round, we have Christine with 60 points, Sue and Selena with 30 points each, and Ange with 20. In the lead man, si Christine, ngayon ay may chance pa rin makahabol ang iba as we go into our ultimate pagalingan round. Remember, sa ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga katanungan. And this is your last chance para humabol kasi dito sa round na to, correct answers are worth 30 points each at may 50 point deduction for wrong answers. Let's begin. To kick off our pagalingan round, first question is from Professor Marianne. Which of the following plants, organisms, or animals has the oldest fossil? A. Dinosaur B. Mammoth C. Fern D. Algae or E, sea sponge. Christine. D, bacteria. The simpler, the older. The older. Sea sponge around 900 million at ang bacteria, algae, ay more than 3 billion years old. So, okay, check. Professor Neil. Yeah. Tanong tungkol sa kasaysayan ng Pilipinas. Sino ang kinikilalang utak magsikang Pilipino. A. Andres Bonifacio B. Ladislao Diwa C. Emilio Cinto Sue A. Po, Andres Bonifacio Bale B. Apolinario Mabini E. Teodoro Plata Selena C. Emilio Cinto Bale Christine Teodoro Plata. Mali. Nagsilbing inspirasyon ng kanyang mga ideya sa paghubog ng kamalayang makabayan sa panahon ng himagsikan at maging sa 20th century. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Apolinario Mabini. Next question, Professor Emeritus Gigi Alfonso. Who won the best actor in Gawadurian in 2018 for his first film debut? Okay. <laughs> Christian Bautista, B. Abra, C. Sam Milby, D. Piolo Pascual, E. Ogi Alcasi. Christine. C. Sam Milby. Mali. A hip-hop artist won the best actor of Gawadurian for his performance in Respeto. The correct answer is Abra. C6 naman. What do you call the energy? 
that comes from a source and has wave-like properties. A. Kinetic energy B. Radiation C. Electricity D. Potential energy or E. None of the above Christine Radiation B. Okay, kinetic energy is energy because of motion and potential is stored energy because of position. Electricity is caused by the movement of electrons. Ang tamang sagot ay radiation. Okay, check. Prof. Neil. Usapang turismo. Sa anong lungsod ng Pilipinas ginaganap ang Kadayawan Festival? A. Bacolod B. Cebu C. Davao B. Iloilo E. Surigao Selena A. Bacolod Mali Su. C. Davao Ang kadayawan ay ang taunang kapistahan sa lungsod na ito na nagtatampok sa pagdiriwang ng buhay at pasasalamat para sa isang masaganang ani. Ang tamang sagot ay C. Davao K. Check. Thank you. And this time, let's talk about art movements. What art movement was Pablo Picasso associated with? Pop art, cubism, impressionism, expressionism, fauvism. Sue. B. Cubism. Rejecting the traditional techniques of perspective for shortening, modeling, and chiaroscuro. So it's a new way of presenting reality. So ang tamang sagot ay cubism. Usapang buhay, biology. Which of the following is a native Philippine tree? A. Acacia. B. Mahogany. C. Ipil-ipil. D. Talisay. Or E. All of the above. Selena. E. All of, all of the above. Mali. Christine. A. Akasha. Mali din. Two. C. Ipil-ipil. Mali din. <laughs> Talisay. Akasha ay galing sa Australia and Africa. Ang mahogany at ipil-ipil ay galing sa South America and Central America. Iba ang ipil-ipil sa ipil tree. Ipil is native. The correct answer is talisay. Okay, check. Prof. Neil. According to FIVOX, a volcano is considered active if it has a record of eruption within the last blank years. A, 150, B, 300, C, 400, D, 550, E, 600. Christine. Um, B, 300. Mali. Uh, Selena. A, 150. Mali. Kasama sa active volcano sa bansa ang Mayon sa Albay, Hibok-Hibok sa Kamigin, Kadlaon sa Negros Oriental, at Pinatubo sa Pampanga. Ang tamang sagot ay letter E, 600. Yes, ma'am. Who was the Renaissance artist who created the Pieta? which is the representation of the draped figure of Christ across Mary's lap and was completed in 1499. So it is now housed in St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. A. Donatello B. Da Vinci C. Rodin D. Michelangelo E. Verrocchio Selena B. Da Vinci. Malipo. So, letter D. Po, Michelangelo. It's a marble sculpture of Jesus on the lap of Mary, now in St. Peter's Basilica, Vatican, and was created by Michelangelo. Okay, check. <laughs>
Math. Allo. The following points lie on the circle with equation x squared plus y squared equal to 1. Except, okay, A, the point 1, 0, B, 0, 1, C, 1, 1, D, negative 1, 0, or E, 0, negative 1. So, lahat yun, 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1, are all on the circle. So, except the point 1, 1. Correct answer is C, 1, 1. So, pwede pang humabol, Christine, Ange, and Selena. Go, Prof. Neil. Ito madali dahil tayo ay kapwa Pilipino. So, usapang kabayanihan. Ano ang ginugunita tuwing April 9 bilang pag-alala sa pagbagsak ng bataan sa kamay ng mga hapon 1942. A. Araw ng kagitingan. B. Araw ng kabayanihan. Selina. A. Araw ng kagitingan. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A. Araw ng kagitingan. K-check. So, ang tanong ko ngayon, a famous village in Vietnam called Dong Ho is known for what type of traditional art form? Pottery, uh, woodblock printing, weaving, lacquer making, wood carving. This art form are used to create colorful folk paintings. These paintings often depict scenes of daily life, folklore, and cultural symbols known as woodcut printing. Yan ang prosesong ginagamit. So, the correct answer is woodblock printing. Congratulations to Sue, our K-Check daily winner with a final score of 90 points. We'll see Sue again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Thank you, of course, to Selena, Ange, and Christine for joining. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marianne, Professor Neil, and Professor Gigi. Again, this is Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round of K-Check.